Arthur Ignatius Conan Doyle was a Scottish writer best known for his creation of the detective Sherlock Holmes, one of the most enduring characters in English fiction. His non-fiction works included military writings, the Great Boer War 1900 and the British campaign in France and Flanders. Doyle was also an avid sportsman. He teamed up with two brothers who had done a backcountry ski trip over a pass in the Alps. An Alpine Pass on Ski is an article written by Conan Doyle about his trip. In this story, the narrator describes his account of skiing in Switzerland. At first, he declares that the skis have such a simple appearance that they cannot be harmful. They are just two slips of wood with squared heel and straps at the center to secure your feet. But when you actually begin skiing, it is no longer simple and you fall down and find yourself stuck into a snowbank. Desperately trying to get up, you fall down again on your face. This makes you realize that this is just the beginning and you expect more trouble to come. But soon, it becomes an irritating experience and the same ski, which earlier looked simple, later becomes the most capricious things on earth. One day, you may ski with expertise, while on the other, with the same weather and snow, you cannot go right. When you prepare for a rapid slide, the ski sticks motionless and you fall over your face. On the other hand, when you expect to stay still on a plateau, the ski roll over without any warning and shoot you straight down the hill. If you prepare yourself for a fall, it will never come off. And if you feel confident and secure while skiing, you fall down the next moment. While going zigzag up on an ice slope, you fear of getting distracted by a mosquito. But surprisingly, the journey is safe. Happily, you reach the top to enjoy the view and the next moment you land on your shoulder, finding the ski tightly tangled round your neck. Or, there may be a time when you ski without a misfortune and are excited to tell the others about your good performance. The others try to congratulate you, but by that time, you have fallen over your head on the snow. If your mouth is not full of snow, you mutter the names of a few Swiss villages to relieve your feelings. All these experiences are in the early stages of skiing. You have to shuffle along the level, to zigzag up the hills, or move sideways like a crab, to slide down without losing your balance, and to take a turn like an expert. The great ski flapping in the air looks the strangest or weirdest. But only by doing the sudden wish round, we can turn upon the mountainside without slipping down. It must be done without ever presenting one's heels to the slope. Going past the early difficulties, one realizes that there are so many possibilities in skiing that makes it a unique sport. The narrator is certain that the time will come when hundreds of Englishmen will come to Switzerland for the skiing season in March and April. He believes that he may claim to be the first to ski, but he is definitely not the last person as this sport will grow eventually in the coming years. Doyle states that if the weather is fair, then it is easier to climb up a mountain in winter than in summer. Because in summer, you have to climb up and climb down which is tiresome. But in winter, all you have to do is climb up and then you can slide on the snow to come down. If the snow is firm, you can zigzag on ski than to climb over boulders under a hot summer sun. The temperature is also favorable in winter because you can enjoy the cool breeze on the mountains, though glasses are necessary to protect the ice from the snow glare.